hello guys welcome again in this video we are going to learn the use of ticker in go language in previous video we have learned the use of timer timer statement execute once only when time expires but ticker statement exec executes again and again until we stop it so we have a package here now we have a function main like this now I have a ticker I'm creating it new ticker and here I'm passing the time 500 millisecond after 500 millisecond I want to execute this I'm also creating the variable check uh, that will be the channel of bool type so here I just call a function anonymous function in this function I use for statement under the for statement I use select statement and here I use uh, uh, check uh, or I can give the name it to done and here I put that done like this return and it is under the case okay so return here and I just use one more case here I say t and I say the ticker dot c like this and now i just print the statement like this and i say tick at and i pass a t so this has been done now what i have to do I have to execute this one and here I am just setting a time to be complete time dot sleep and I say that 1600 millisecond we have to wait okay after that I just stop the ticker and I put the value of my done channel to true like this and then I print value that ticker stopped so I save it I run it and you see the ticker is executing a statement three times and ticker stops so why three times because it's a 500 millisecond and time is 1600 means multiply by 3 we have a 1500 so if I increase this to 25260 that means it will display now five times 1 2 3 4 5 and stop one two three four five you see so we are calling a ticker so ticker is executing the statement this one after every 500 millisecond and it is executing till we reach to the 2600 millisecond and after that I am stopping this ticker and I am putting a condition here true that's why this condition will go there and we will return the statement means we will close this for loop and we close the function that is becoming an infinity loop by using this so with the help of channel we are communicating between these go routines and with the help of ticker we are executing the statement one by one one by one like this 
so we know that ticker is used to execute the statement each and every time whenever the time reach when time reach or conditions fulfill we can stop the ticker to execute so that way we have learned how we can use the ticker in go language thank you for watching my video Thank you.